Welcome to Bangkok, Thailand. In today's video, I'm going to go over my cost of living here in the city in 2024. I'm going to cover absolutely everything. My food, my accommodation, my travel expenses, my transportation, phone and internet. And you'll get a good idea of the quality of life that you can expect in this city on a budget of around 60,000 Thai baht at 1,700 US dollars per month. Bangkok offers great value for every single budget. And as I cover my budget, I want you to think about your budget and the quality of life that it allows you in your city. And let me know in the comments below, how does it compare to my budget and my quality of life here in Bangkok? Let's get started with food, which is my single largest expense. Bangkok is a foodie paradise. You have an enormous assortment of different food options in this city. I don't spend very much on breakfast and that's because I do something called intermittent fasting. I skip breakfast and this allows me to eat much more later in the day. So my breakfast consists of coffee. You have a huge range of coffee options here in the city. You've got the big name brands like Starbucks, but I personally prefer to shop at local coffee shops. It supports the local economy. It's much, much cheaper. And I do find that the quality of the coffee is pretty much the same. You can get a great coffee for around 30 baht, but I'll probably have two or three in the morning because that does suppress my appetite. So my breakfast budget, my coffee breakfast budget is about 100 baht per day. Lunch is a little bit more interesting. I tend to eat Thai food for lunch. The range of possible foods that you can get for lunch is absolutely enormous. You've got all the different Thai curries, grilled meat sticks. You've got the pork satay, which I love. And one of my personal favorites is just stopping in at a mall food court and going to one of the buffets. And I'm gonna budget about 100 baht for lunch per day. And I also like to eat a lot of fruit at lunchtime. My condo has a fruit vending machine. You've got street vendors with all kinds of fruit. I probably spend about 60 baht on my fruit at lunch. And then I've got my coconut water and fresh squeezed orange juice. And I put that all together, there's my lunch. But of course, we're not finished with food. We've got dinner and here in Thailand that's definitely the most important meal of the day. It cools down, the night markets open up, the crowds come out and this is when you want to have your biggest most enjoyable meal of the day and I definitely spend the most on dinner and you have a huge selection here. I love the clay pot restaurants there. They give you an ensemble of different meats and vegetables and you cook it in a flavorful broth with awesome sauces. I love that grilled fish or maybe a steamed herb fish, huge range of different Thai foods, great restaurants, or you can order on apps like Grab and Food Panda. And I'll also sometimes order Western food like a burger or pizza. And I sometimes like to cook and I'll normally shop for Western food ingredients and cook Western food. And so it's relatively similar pricing because those ingredients are a little bit more expensive. And I'm gonna estimate my total dinner cost at 300 baht. And I also add some fruit in and a fresh squeezed orange juice or coconut water for a total of around 400 baht for dinner per day. We're not finished with food yet. We also have our snacks. And Thailand is a snack paradise. Whether you're walking around and grabbing yourself a coconut ice cream or a roti on the street corner, or you're going to 7-Eleven and buying one of the many snacks they've got there. And I'm gonna throw in my water expenses here because you don't really wanna drink the tap water in Thailand. I normally buy water directly at 7-Eleven and my total snacks and water expense per day I'm gonna put it 100 baht. And that brings my total daily food expense to 24,500 baht per month. Let's move on to our basic supplies. These are things like toiletries, shampoo, conditioner, face wash, body wash, all of the very boring stuff that might be forgotten in a conventional cost of living video, but we have to include it. And you can normally buy these at a 7-Eleven but I do recommend that you go to one of the pharmacies like Boots or Watson's as they normally have two for one deals and they almost always have pretty good sales. And overall, I estimate my costs at about 1,500 Thai baht per month. 
but shopping includes more than just your basic supplies. Of course, if you're living here in Thailand, you're going to be shopping for things like clothes, electronics, gadgets, home furnishings. When it comes to shopping here in Bangkok, you have a huge range of options. You've got very budget options like Platinum Mall for clothes and you have much higher end malls and you can buy the most up-to-date fashion or gadgets or electronics. And of course, you can shop online on Lazada or Shopee. These are the Amazons of Thailand and you'll find great deals here. Now, personally, I'm a content creator. I'm pretty big on gadgets and electronics. I make some big purchases every year. I'm gonna average out about three years of spending here and give you an average monthly cost and I calculated it to about 5,000 Thai baht per month. Let's jump over to nightlife and entertainment and this is an area where you could spend very little or a lot and it really depends on your lifestyle preferences and choices. I used to spend a lot more on nightlife and if you're new to Bangkok there's a good chance you'll spend a lot more money. But as it is, I go out maybe once or twice a month with friends, normally to a sky bar or just a local bar, maybe Khao San Road. But I still don't drink very much even when I do go out. And so I've averaged this one out to about 2,000 baht per month. If you're new to Bangkok, it is very, very easy to spend a lot more money on this particular category. But entertainment doesn't only include nightlife and partying and drinking. You also have options like going to see movies at one of the fantastic movie theaters here in the city, going bowling, going rock climbing. You have plenty of activities and options for going out and doing entertainment activities here in the city. And for that, I'll add another 3,000 baht. We're on to fitness, and Bangkok has a lot of fitness options. You can go to one of the many parks and work out. I absolutely love park workouts here in the city. And you also have great gyms in most of the condos, but you can add a gym membership. I go to Jets Fitness, and it's 1,400 Thai baht per month on a year membership and 1,700 Thai baht if you're doing a month to month. And they've got lots of branches around the city and so it's very convenient for me personally. All right, we're moving on to rent. My rent is relatively inexpensive for Bangkok. I pay 10,000 Thai baht per month for a one bedroom, 40 square meter condo. It's got a nice pool on the sixth floor along with a gym. It's got great ground floor common areas and it's located near Rama 9 MRT, Central Rama 9 Mall, Jod Fair Night Market. It's a great location. You can find very inexpensive condos in the city and you can find very expensive condos in the city. The choice is really up to you. If you're interested in seeing more of my condo, I did a full condo tour and the link is in the description. All right, let's jump to our utilities. Electricity here in Thailand is relatively inexpensive. For my 40 square meter condo, I spend about 700 to 1,000 Thai baht per month. I keep it pretty much icy cold. I'm from Canada. I like to sleep in 18 to 20 degrees and I do have the air conditioning on virtually all the time when I'm at home. And we'll add in water, which is about 100 or 200 baht per month. And the total for my utilities is about a thousand baht per month. Up next, we've got our phone and internet, and these are very affordable here in Thailand. You can walk into any service provider, just bring your passport, and you can sign up for a pay-as-you-go plan. I've been on a pay-as-you-go plan with AIS for about four years, and I spend 200 Thai baht per month for my phone plan and 500 Thai baht per month for my internet plan. I'm a content creator. I make large 4K videos. I often upload using the hotspot on my phone and it is very easy, very quick. The service has always been very good. We've got our transportation up next and Bangkok gives you a wide range of different transportation options. You have the public transportation systems. These are the trains, MRT, BTS. You have the public buses. You have taxis, you have motorbike taxis, you have the ride hailing apps, Grab and Bolt. And so you have a huge range of options. I generally prefer to use the public transportation trains as much as possible. And these will cost between 17 and 61 baht per one way trip, depending on how far you travel. And I live next to the MRT at MRT Rama 9. I normally spend about 20 to 30 baht per trip one way. But I also use motorbike taxis, usually from either Grab or Bolt 
and you'll order these on your phone, give them a set destination, a set price, and these are very inexpensive. They arrive quite quickly. They will get you to your destination much faster than a car because they'll navigate through all that traffic here in Bangkok much more quickly. But the only downside is that they are much more dangerous. Bangkok, unfortunately, has a high road fatality rate, and a lot of that is the motorbikes, so I avoid using them too much. And if I'm looking to get a car, I normally just wave down a taxi. It can take quite a bit longer for a car to arrive if you order it from Grab or Bolt. Usually I just want to get somewhere quickly and I'll wave down a taxi off the street, ask them to use the meter, and you can normally get anywhere within the city for about a hundred baht. We add up all my transportation. I spend about 2,000 Thai baht per month getting around in Bangkok. And finally, we have travel. Bangkok is a travel hub. In fact, Bangkok was the most visited city in the world in 2023. And one of the reasons is that it's very easy to travel from Bangkok. And if you're living in Bangkok like me, travel does become a big part of your life. And so you have to budget that. It's not really possible to give you a single monthly budget because travel differs from a month to month basis. I just recently went to Pattaya for New Year's here in Thailand. And a few months ago, I went to Vietnam for a week. And so there's a mix of shorter, quicker, closer holidays to the beach towns near Bangkok or maybe one of the northern cities like Chiang Mai. And then you have the longer, more expensive international trips. When I travel, I personally like to stay at nicer places, enjoy the holiday. When I was a little bit younger, I often stayed at more budget places and did a backpacker style of travel. So this will depend on where you're at in life and what your individual preferences are. I spend about 100,000 Thai baht per year on travel and I averaged that out to about 8,000 Thai baht per month. And last, we have our visa and health insurance. And these will differ enormously for every individual, depending on your age, your work status. There are lots of factors that are gonna come into your visa and health insurance costs. And personally, I'm employed by an international organization here in Thailand. It covers my work visa and my health insurance. And so my expenses here are zero. If we tally it all up, I spend 59,100 Thai baht per month which is just over 1,700 US dollars. Let me know, how does my budget compare to life in your city, your country? What quality of life can you expect on a budget of 1,700 US dollars? Let me know in the comments and I'll see you next time.